You know how much I trust you. I didn't do anything wrong. And it was a huge mistake. You're just being paranoid and overreacting. Overreacting? This is ridiculous. I can't believe you would do something like this It was this a misunderstanding, me. that's all. Are you kidding me? You knew exactly what you were doing and you didn't care about the consequences. I did care, but I just made a mistake. This is unacceptable. You need to apologize and make things right between I us. I don't even know what you want from me. You just assumed that everything would be okay and that I wouldn't care. Well, guess what? I don't care and I am not going to let this go without a fight. But don't expect me to apologize or make things right between us. I won't do it. You can have your revenge, but I won't let it affect me or our friendship. Guys, we are going live. Shut, Shut up. up. Ladies and gentlemen, and any extraterrestrial friends who might be tuning in, welcome to a fascinating initiative on our beloved planet Earth. Today we're delving into the heart of Jordan where something remarkable is happening, a movement that involves the energetic and brilliant minds of the younger generation, and it's all about tackling a challenge that affects each and every one of us, the climate crisis. Picture this, in the vibrant city of Amman, UNICEF Jordan has rolled out a program called SON. And it's not just any program, it's a platform that harnesses the enthusiasm and insights of young Jordanian. These young means are not just the future, they are the present climate stakeholders. UNICEF recognizes their importance and has created SON to be inclusive, bringing together youth from diverse backgrounds. It's like a gathering of superheroes, it with unique powers to combat the climate crisis. Now, the SON initiative is not a solo act, it's a grand symphony of collaboration. UNICEF has joined forces with Banca, Etihad and the Korea International Cooperation Agency to support these young warriors in their battle against climate change. Imagine it as a powerful alliance, uniting financial expertise and international cooperation to empower the youth and amplify their voices. The partnership between UNICEF and Bank Al Etihad is not a one-time affair. It's a commitment that's been renewed for a second year. That means a continuous flow of support, resources, and encouragement for the young people of Jordan. It's like a promise to keep the flame of passion burning bright in the hearts of these climate warriors. And speaking of climate warriors, the youth in Jordan are not just sitting back. They're calling for action. They're urging society to recognize climate change as an agricultural risk. It's like telling everyone, hey, we need to take care of our planet because it directly affects our food, our homes, and everything we love. So, whether you're a curious five-year-old or an extraterrestrial tuning in from the cosmos, know that down here on Earth, the youth of Jordan are taking the lead in fighting for a healthier and safer world. It's a story of collaboration, determination, and a shared vision for a brighter future. And who knows, maybe this spark ignited in Jordan will inspire similar movements across the globe. And speaking of saving our planet, have you heard about the new app called Climate Change Bingo? It's like playing a game of bingo, but instead of numbers, you match up climate change, related events and policy. The first person to get five in a row wins. A lifetime supply of ice caps, 